Oops, OK. So in this example, the first thing I said, guys, when solving an exponential equation, though, is to always isolate the exponents. So you guys can see right now my exponent is e raised to 3x. So right now, and that e raised to 3x is being multiplied by 2. So I need to divide by 2. So now I have e raised to the 3x um, is equal to 4. Now, the main important thing, guys, is again, I need to get rid of e. I, I don't know how to write e and 4 to the same base to use the 1 to 1 property. However, I know that I can take log base e, right? Yeah. But remember, um, when we have e, rather than taking, what we do is instead of taking this as the log base e, don't write this, what we use is this is actually called your natural logarithm. So it looks like this. It's actually ln of e to the 3x equals ln of 4. Okay. So the ln, so the logarithm of the, nat of the base e is our natural logarithm, which we is still a log, but it's, um, but it's ln. We represent it as ln instead of log. And, the re and every single time you guys see ln, just notice that the ln has a base e. ln has the base e. But instead of saying log base e, we write it as ln base e. But ladies and gentlemen, the same thing is the process is the same. ln base e of e, which is just going to leave us with 3x equals ln. I don't need to write base e because it's assumed ln of 4. Now, I divide by 3 and divide by 3. So x equals, or we're going to say is approximately, in your calculator, you guys will see there's a logarithm, a uh, regular logarithm, and there's a natural logarithm, which is the ln. So all I'll simply do is I'll take ln of 4 and then divide that by 3. Huh? Uh, yes. Approximately 0.5. Okay. 